Hey y'all, this is my public service announcement. All right, so today we're gonna talk about some things. And this is really all about salon etiquette, okay? Um, I really wanna talk about why I left the salon and the fact that I'm back and the changes that's gonna be made. I'm gonna talk to you about the experiences I've had that led up to my decision making in uh, leaving the salon and not servicing certain clients, okay? Um, now, of course, I'm not putting anybody out there. I just want to discuss, you know, certain things that happen in the salon. And um, I don't think people really think about the stylists, you know. So this is really all about salon etiquette. All right, so, like, discussing why I left. Um, well, for one, I was burnt out, like crazy burnt out. I was just working and working and working and working and working and working and working. All right, then on top of that, 2018 I went through a divorce I kept on working and working and working I missed a few vacations that I would have loved to have taken but I kept working all right so with all of that going on I I was burning myself out you know and you know working just past burnout so when the pandemic hit and they said it shut down that was actually a true blessing it was a true blessing I did I did just that I sat down but um, in that sitting down, I was able to get a clearer mind. I was able to quiet the noise and start really thinking about some things, okay? So um, I had an issue addressing these uh, situations before. Didn't I didn't really know how people were going to receive it. But I am in a place right now where I'm like, I have to discuss it because it can't happen again. And the reason why it can't happen again is because I just want to... Um, talk about the fact that me being a cosmetologist was a career choice okay I definitely took this very seriously okay I was able to grow my business into a six-figure business and um, I've been doing hair for 14 years professionally you know so obviously it was you know a career choice but um in during all of this I realized that I wasn't trying to leave the salon because I didn't like doing what I was doing I was leaving because I didn't like the way my clients were making me feel okay and um, I said to say but I, I'm pretty sure some other stylists and I know this for a fact other stylists have gone through the same thing all right um, there is some there's salon etiquette there's a way to treat people all right um, I know there's some people out here and they may not even know that they're really doing it but in the back of your mind you're looking at the stylist like she's not on your level okay um and when I say this I mean like yeah there's some people looking down on stylists you know or you think this isn't a real career or something that's what you think okay but it is a real career you know there's many stylists who's making a an amazing living off of doing hair okay operating a very successful business they're taking care of themselves their family and probably some other people's families okay so this is definitely a um, a career a serious career okay and on, on top of that I'm a senior licensed cosmetologist okay so I'm just I'm gonna go into some things with that all right um but yeah that's pretty much the reason why I left and um, I'm glad I did because like I said I was able to get my mind right all right I do love doing hair I really do I don't stand I don't dread going into the salon I don't sit up there and say oh I gotta do hair today I wake up and feel a certain kind of way by doing hair no I do it and because I want to do it all right so if I have someone who makes me feel like I don't want to do their hair I've made the decision that I'm not gonna do their hair and that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so, and I, I just want to say that the salon too is a place of business and it's a place, a personal place for the, um, the stylist. Okay, because we're there so much. It's our second home. She would sometimes feel like our first home, but it's our second home. So that space is very um, important, sacred. It's, you know, we need to keep that energy right in the salon. All right, so let's go over a few of these things. Well, not a few, but several things that I've encountered and um, where I'm making changes to now. Okay, so being rude. 
I have had clients that were very rude. They were rude to me, rude to other uh, clients. Um, that is so not acceptable. It's not, you know, and uh, I know I don't treat people like that. And if I have anyone being rude to me as their stylist, they're never going to sit in my chair again. And I'm not going to feel no type of way about it. I just know that what's not going to happen is I'm not dealing with any rude people. All right, that doesn't even make sense. You come in to get your hair done and you're being rude. Like if there's something that you don't want or don't like, um, just simply ask for a style, like a change or a correction in your style. You know, no need to be rude about it. Um, because what I'm not going to do is be trying to get over on anybody. You know, I, I definitely care about the integrity of my business. All right, so that's that. And and please don't be rude to other clients or um, if I have an assistant, don't be rude to the assistant. If she needs to make some adjustments, some corrections, you just let her know. That's all it is. It's all about, um, you know, how you say things to people. All right, so then the next thing, issues with pricing. My price is my price. If you feel that I'm not worth my price, there's a whole lot of other stylists out here that I'm pretty sure is going to be in your price range. That's the stylist you need to go to. Like, seriously, if you feel like I'm, I'm overcharging you, I'm not worthy, um, you don't think I can execute and be worth that price, that's how you feel. So I'm just going to say, okay, um, there's probably some other stylists out here that will better suit your financial needs, you know? Um, so, yeah, I don't want anybody going back and forth with me about my price. The price is the price. If you have a relaxer and you want to come to a stylist who does natural hair, I don't have relaxer prices. I have natural hair prices. And, yeah, the price can be more expensive. So that's just the price that you're going to pay. I don't care if you have um, two inches of new growth and you have a relaxer uh, and you want to, you think that you should get a discount. No, your, the price is the price. That's what it is. All right. So I'm not going back and forth with anybody about my price. All right. Um, and if I want to give a discount, I'll give the discount. I don't want anybody asking me for the discount. And the next thing would be doubting my expertise. Um, as I was saying before, I have 14 years of professional experience. I have countless classes that I've taken. You know, um, I'm a senior licensed cosmetologist. I specialize in natural hair. Uh, so I have gotten the proper education, you know, um, to be certified to do hair. And I just feel like if someone knows me or have been coming to me for a while and they still don't trust my expertise and the advice I'm giving them to care for their hair, why are you still coming? That's all I'm saying. Why are you still coming? So, it, you know, it's very disrespectful to do that. And, like, I take what I do seriously. So if you don't feel that I am worthy or um, my expertise, I'm, I, just, I mean, I know what I'm doing, if that's how you feel, can't sit in my chair. I don't want my clients to doubt me. Because I'm very confident in what I know and what I can do. If 